streamers are a relatively new breed of internet degenerate. And with the platform having near enough no rules, it's generated some of the most pathetic content ever to grace the World Wide Web. Now, despite it being close to impossible to get banned on this hellscape website, the subjects of today's video actually managed to do that, which is like quite impressive in its own right. It's like being banned from prison for being too naughty. I'm not going to name this guy because I feel as though that would be exactly what he'd want. But you may recognize him because he's appeared on this channel before. He's that Jack Doherty kid's 34 year old tag along that had a go at an old guy for some reason. Bro, you're 70 years old, man. I'm just saying, you got like 10 years till hospice. Enjoy it. Did you finish high school? About, I don't know. It's like, I don't So, how did he manage to do the impossible and get banned from Kick? He went on one of the most obscure, heated Islamophobic rants I have ever bared witness to. And I'm just going to warn you now, this next clip is next level disrespectful. I'm not going to shut up. I have the platform. You don't. And that's how God had it happen. Allah. That's how Allah had it happen. Oh, Allah, please. Allah, strike me down. Hey, Allah, you're a bitch. Your religion's a fucking scam. And the only reason you exist in this decade is because you're a tax write-off. There you go. What do you do, fly a plane into one of my buildings? Yeah, this is just absolutely bizarre and disgraceful. And this sort of thing isn't anything new. I mean, he's never, I don't think he's ever gone on a rant like this before. But this sort of disrespectful behavior, it isn't anything new. He just comes across as a hateful, horrible guy. I can only assume it's because he's bitter. He got dealt a, a pretty poor hand. Like, he's a kick streamer at 34. That's enough to drive anyone to insanity. But after that clip surfaced, I did a little bit more digging and found a load of clips of him just being vile. It seems like he does shit like this just for attention, which would be a mental strategy for a teenager to put in place. Like, you know, the all publicity is good publicity myth. But for a 34 year old to do this, fucking hell, you should know better. So this isn't, because we were told this is a public place. I'm not trying to no, buy it. No, it's not. Oh, you it's not. We're, we're, we're walking so the where's the public? We're, can we go, we're going to the public spot. We're going to the car. We're going to the car. Yeah, All right, we're, we're going to the car. Thank you for keeping us safe, sir. We appreciate you. All right. Oh, shit, I got a bottle in my hand, dude. Yeah, I've been to prison twice, dude. What's up? Fuck your gay ass security guard job, man. Bitch ass, dude. I clear your annual in a month. This guy is so confusing because they seem to be acting like all cool and cordial with each other. Like this guy went, oh, thank you for keeping us safe and or whatever. But then something just flicks in his brain and he realizes he needs content. The viewers will click off if he's being nice. This is kick after all. So he just starts being an arsehole to this poor security guard that's just doing his job. Also, I clear your annual in a month. Shut up, man. That is so, that's so lame. Like this guy, he wasn't even being hostile towards you, but using that as a comeback is just so fucking lame. I make more money than you do. So what? Who cares? You think he's going to sit there and go, man, you know what? He might actually be right because he makes more money than me. Damn. I should have just let him stay where he was. Like the security guard probably thinks you're a gimp for this. The people watching the stream probably think you're a gimp for this. Why do it? Come on, you surely could come up with some better insults than, oh, I might make more money than you. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, all right, all right, call the cops, dude. Yeah, you have a great life, man. You're, you're so, you'll notice this guy just straight up projects onto people he's having a go at. So for the security guard, he's going, oh, yeah, you have a great life, man. You have a great life. I, I mean, I don't think he'd be doing that unless he was, like, deeply unsatisfied. Yeah, you're over six foot, dude. You have a great life. Yeah, yeah, yeah you look great. Oh, guys, hurry up. He's going to call the police. This guy's barely said, he's barely said a word. You're embarrassing yourself so much. This gives me the same vibes as an 18-year-old arguing with a bouncer outside a club, except it's a 34-year-old. <laughs> He's a 34-year-old man screaming at a guy not much older than him, telling him he can't do his kick stream in a specific place. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man, you have to work 20 years to make what I make in a month, dude. You're a joke, bitch ass, dude. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Only a second ago, he made 20 times less than that. He said to the security guard, I clear your annual in a month. So where's this 20x come from? And according to these new maths, you'd make between $600 and $800,000 per month because the average security guard job in America is like 30, 40K. No, you don't. <laughs> Whoa. So what are you going to do when I walk out of there, man? Soft ass motherfucker. Bro, you're screaming at a security guard outside a build a pair workshop. Come on, pack it in. Yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, watch it, man. You're gonna make 40k a year, do nothing. You made 40k a year, do nothing. I mean, even from a business perspective, screaming and shouting about making more money than someone and saying if you make a normal salary, you're a loser is a fucking terrible idea because he's just gonna alienate so many people from watching him. I can't even see rich people wanting to watch this because he's so vulgar and horrible to people. The only people I can imagine watching him are are people laughing at how tragic he is, like sort of hate watching the stream. And the terminally stupid, that surely no one else could be watching these. What's up, you tough? Hey man, maintain that no one respects you, no one gives a fuck about you, man. You know that, right? What's up? 
What you want to do, dude? Come on, baby. Come on. Scary ass motherfucker. Your dad's a bitch and so is your fat whore ass mom. Sorry, am I mistaken? Or did the guy just go, oh, you, you can't be here to them? <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> he didn't fucking do anything. He just went, oh, sorry, guys, you can't be here. It's really not that deep. Why are you screaming all this stuff to a guy who's just doing his job? But this next clip is from when he walked into a McDonald's and got instantly kicked out for streaming in there. And, I mean, fair enough. You gotta get out. Got it's it. Facebook. Right, fucking out. You gotta get out. You cannot yep. be here with that. All Where's right, she? thank you, ma'am. You're no. so nice. I hope you're having a great day. She coming hard. Holy hey. shit! What is oh, wrong with y'all, oh, man? Whoa! Why? Wait, wait, why are you? All right, oh, calm down. Yeah. Lose why some weight, you. Fat. Okay, so she stuck her middle finger up at them because they, they were getting a bit aggy. Might be a bit disrespectful, but there's no reason for that kind of reaction, though. That's mental. It's obscene, but not even in like a shock humor kind of way. Like, oh, that caught me off guard. Oh, that's funny. Just in like a disgusting, horrible kind of way. That's why we can't ever go inside? Oh, he's going back inside. Hey, you look. Tard Missy Elliott, you fat ass. You'll never be shit. All right, now I'm done. This is why we don't go inside McDonald's. Why does Bro, that there's no, there's no one, you're not, no one's talking to you that way. Okay, like, maybe she mildly disrespected you, but come on. Surely in your 34 years, you've learned to be a bit more thick skinned. And know not to act like an egotistical child. Just laugh it off. In life, you're going to have people that disrespect you in some kind of small way. You just got to laugh it off. You can't scream and cry every time it happens. Then date a loser. That's just, I'm not saying this why even applies. Why are you so self-conscious about that? I'm not, this is literally not even for just you. It not that this like is you. It like you're projecting really heavy. I'm not project. I'm just like. She is absolutely spot on with that observation. I take it personally. If a girl turns me down and I see her with a guy that I know makes less money than me and is less successful than me. Like, oh, I like him for him. About what? He's a watered down. It's crazy that he's still in this angsty, defeatist teenager mindset of, oh, the guys that get all the girls are only the ones that make loads of money and, and are, are tall and are handsome. There's no reason for a girl to be with just a normal guy. Would you even expect a girl to want to be with you just because you have a bit of money and, and kick followers? <laughs> That's such a funny mindset to have having your fuzzies said that you know you just want you know you want a lot of respect because of what you've been through in life same but he's supposed to my message is supposed to uplift people all right, so I hate to laugh at a man when he's down. And honestly, I don't know the context of this because surprisingly, I don't watch his streams. But what are you on about your messages is supposed to uplift people? Every single thing I have seen from you has been overwhelmingly negative. You've just been putting random pedestrians or customer service workers down. How can you possibly claim that your content is meant to uplift people when this is what you're known for? I called it on day one. The most annoying thing about this clip is his mate is just streaming him, having a breakdown and mocking it. Like, come on, man. You, you need to get some better friends. They may boost your social profile for now and give you a, a bit of clout or whatever, but this is just, this is just fucking dystopia. Streaming your supposed mate's breakdown for your viewers to go W or L to. But anyway, this guy apologized for the, the statement he made at the start of this video. I'm going to talk about it one more time because after this, bro, I'm just, I'm just done with it, man. I'm done talking about it. You know, I've talked to the kick staff. I apologize to them. I apologize to you guys. It's not going to happen again. I'm not a hateful person. I re regret what I said. And okay, fair enough. He apologized or whatever. It's not my apology to accept. But what I am going to say is this is a very, very consistent pattern of behavior that is probably going to continue going forwards. Just constantly doing things that are hateful or hurtful to groups or individuals. And as I said, I'm sure this will continue because it's this kind of behavior that makes him a semi-popular figure in the, in the kick world. And it is tragic that this seems to be encouraged because... Because just for a second, imagine this dude going up to your mum while she's at work, putting her on his live stream, calling her some fucking horrible shit while his chat does the same. It's pathetic. You're 34. You're a big boy now. Go get a house and, and a golden retriever or something and get off the internet. I know you probably think it's doing you good because, oh, big number and, oh, it, it make me money. But it's clear to literally everyone on the outside, this is doing you no good at all. Look after yourself. Get some help. It seems as though he has now been unbanned from kick after a full two days, so I'm sure he's learned his lesson. Like and subscribe or I'll go to your mum's place of work and call her a slag.